Hi, I'm Mike Benock, Product Manager with New Calgon. Today we're going to talk about the proper procedures when using RX11 Flush Liquid. I have everything here needed to do a proper flush and it's all available in our starter kit. The first step is to put on safety glasses. Then we're going to pour the appropriate amount you need for flushing into the flush tank. After you have the right amount in there, place the cap. This is reusable. Then we'll put our dip tube in and keep in mind on, the dip, uh, on this dip tube it does have a pressure relief valve on the back because we are going to be injecting nitrogen into this tank. After it's securely attached, we're going to connect our nitrogen tank. Before we open the valve, make sure that the valve on top of the tank is turned to the off position. Then we're going to turn the nitrogen on and make sure your regulator is set for 50 PSI, no higher. So I will set up to 50 PSI and as you turn this valve you'll hear the nitrogen enter the, the tank. Now that the nitrogen is in the tank, we close this valve and disconnect the nitrogen. So we'll turn the nitrogen off and disconnect. Now the tank has pressure inside and is ready to be used for flushing. This is our mock line set to show that the, the can now has pressure in it. And as you can see, the flush goes into the line set and then you chase that with the nitrogen purge. For new Calgon and RX11, I'm Mike Benock. For more information or to see other videos, please visit our website at newcalgon.com.